Welcome back, students. So the other day, uh, I read to you Monkey Puzzle by Julia Donaldson with illustrations by Axel Scheffler. And I told you that we would be reading some more Julia Donaldson. And I thought to get back to Julia Donaldson, I'd go ahead and reread our super favorite book of hers from Halloween, which I think a lot of you know called Room on the Broom. Even though it's from Halloween, I think it's still very fun for now. So I see a witch on a broom with her cute little cat and her wand, and she's holding her, her cauldron is hooked on the broom. Room on the broom. Ooh, and there's a blue. Is there room for one more? Here, I'll hold it while I read it. The witch and her cat are happily flying through the sky on a broomstick when the wind picks up and blows away the witch's hat. Then her bow, then her wand. Luckily, three helpful animals find the missing items and all they want in return is a ride on the broom. But is there room on the broom for so many friends? And when disaster strikes, will they be able to save the witch from a hungry dragon? Let's find out. Oh, and on the back it shows them all on the broom. So they must have all got a ride at some point. Here we go. Room on the broom. And the end papers, that's cute, have the different things that I think we already know we're going to fall off. The hat, the bow, the wand, oh, and there's the broom. Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson, pictures by Axel Scheffler, Puffin Book. Ah, the witch had a cat and a hat that was black and long ginger hair in a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off the hat, right? And you remember these are rhyming books. Here they are, happy at first, but uh-oh, there goes the hat. cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Clambered is to kind of climb on. So there they're looking for the hat. And there the dog is bringing the hat out of the bushes. And they're all taking off together. Over the fields and the forests they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat. But away blew the bow from her braid, just like that. So there you can see, and there's the little bow. And there's the little dog. What? Look. <laughs> and ooh, here it's fallen to the ground. cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said, as the witch tied her braid in the bow, I am a bird, as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. So there they are looking for it. And here the bird is bringing the bow. And off they go. What a happy group they look to be. Oh. Ooh, it's looking kind of rainy and soggy now. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew, 
The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch as they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. So there they are, flying. And there again, here goes the wand and they're looking down like, uh-oh. And somebody is seeing the wand. So who do you think is gonna be helping them next? Hmm. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak, I am a frog, as clean as can be. Uh, is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and, oh, dun, 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 something's gonna happen. Okay, let's take a look at the pictures first. So there's the frog with the wand. There she's wiping it dry. And now they're all on the broom. But it says here, the frog jumped for joy and, ooh, what's gonna happen? The broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. Uh oh. So here they're all falling. A bog is like a swampy area. So here they're all falling. And then they hear a roar. Dun, dun, dun. That was scary and loud. I am a dragon, as mean as can be. And which, with french fries, tastes delicious to me. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew near with a glint in his eyes and said, just this once, I'll have witch without fries. Ooh. Okay, so there he's chasing her up into the sky. I guess she could fly on for a little bit just on part of her broom, but eventually she had to come down to the ground and I guess he said his favorite snack is witch with french fries, but today it'll just be witch. Mm, uh-oh. <sighs> but just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird and its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch and it said to the dragon, buzz off, that's my witch. Oh, wow. So the witch is so frightened that it looks like she's fainted but it looks like this monster that's coming out of the swamp, out of the bog, is so frightening that the dragon looks scared. And the monster is saying, that's my witch. <gasps> the dragon drew back and he started to shake. Oh, I'm sorry, he spluttered. I've made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, uh, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird, and down jumped the frog, down climbed the cat, and phew, phew, said the dog. 
and thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Okay, so there's the dragon all scared, still with the witch. And then after he leaves, the monster is coming apart. And it's really all her friends who helped her. Oh, and there's the dragon flying off in the sky. That's kind of cute. <laughs> then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone. Throw something in. So the frog found a lily. The cat found a cone. The bird found a twig. And the dog found a... What do dogs like? Bone. They threw them all in, and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, <clears throat> she muttered a spell. Ickety zickety zackety zoom. Then out rose, dum dum dum. What do you think is going to come out of the cauldron that rhymes with zoom? So there she's getting the cauldron going, and each friend is bringing their contribution, what they're putting in the pot. And what do you think? Some magic is going on. Iggity, iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch as they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. And I always think it's so fun to look close up at this. It's like little seats on an airplane or something. So there they're all joyfully looking at the new broom. And here we go. Look at that. There's a light on the front. Nice seats for the cat and the dog. Oh, she's got a drink. She's got a book. Reading, that dog is. And look, there's a little nest up here for the bird. There's a little pool for the frog. <laughs> and they're all happy on the broom. So... I hope you enjoyed that from Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson, and I think we'll be enjoying more of her books in the coming days. So please be sure to keep washing your hands, cover your coughs and sneezes, do some reading, do some writing, help your family around the house. Um, don't forget to keep collecting your books, and I'm going to give your parents some special information on Friday about what they can do to collect the books, for me to collect the books from you guys. Um, and I hope you have a great day. I love you guys. I miss you. Elbow bump. <laughs>